Oh no. Don't do it. Okay, I deserved that. Oh my god, please. Don't do it. Nice. I can't even pick the mushrooms properly right now. Oh. No, go back. That's right. I'm not hitting very good. I'm gonna just wait so that I don't have to run. Yeah, what up? Yes, sir. Oh, fuck. Please don't poison. Nice. I'm 
just getting warmed up, so don't judge the gameplay quite yet. I haven't played yet today, and the clicks are not very spicy. I died to this guy last night, though. He's my last one that I need. And I double deathed. <laughs> so then I could see the ornament kit on the ground, but I couldn't pick it up. So now I'm back for revenge. I'm not hitting very good, though. See, this part is so easy. I think it's just when the orbs come out, man. It just gets too much. Oh god, don't do it. I said don't do it. Come on, please. Please just hit it. Just hit it. Bro, I'm getting jad hands so fucking bad right now. Yes! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, I was getting such bad jad hands, bro. Oh, that was only the second one of the stream. That was easy. Dude, I know! My hands got so bad because that was the first, like, good run today, because I... I was just like up kind of late last night trying it and like I got it my first time in five orbs and then I did like 25 more and I just kept dying and dying and dying and I was getting so frustrated but I think it's because I was tired because I just got this on my second try today. Vibrator, <laughs> yeah man. Bro my hands were fucking shaking dude. Alright let's get out of here dude. Oh wait, 
drop the uh got to did it when i did my inferno got to oh yeah wait wait i'll take the screeny for the boys in the discord too yeah i double deathed last night so that's why i had to do it again for the awakened duke this is the inventory that i used i was on the thrall spellbook um, you could sub in a Suffering Ring if you wanted, because I think it would be pretty good with the chip damage, though I didn't test it myself. I don't know if the recoil actually works with the chip damage. But in Vardorvis, the Suffering was really good with that chip damage, but I didn't end up trying it myself. Uh, it's not really necessary. Um, if you're going to do it this way, or the way that I do it, then you're going to be bringing a lot of brews so that you have lots of heals for all that chip damage and to make a couple mistakes you're probably going to be tanking the shadow orbs instead of like maneuvering through them around them i just tanked them bang's going to be on slash uh this is the order that you pre-pod in you always want to make sure that you do that minifite remedy first so that you don't cancel out your divine and then once you do that, then you're going to pull out your anglers, and this is what you're going to go to the boss with. So I forgot to mention the reason why you have the arc light <clears throat> is because sub 25% is when Duke gets into his enrage phase. And that's when you're going to be using a 4 tick weapon instead of your 5 tick fang. Uh, the void waker, you can dump 2 specs at the start, and then you're going to want to save a spec to get it below get it like basically you want to proc the getting it below the 25 percent health threshold before you have to do an acid walk like you don't want to be proccing that threshold mid doing an acid walk because that's going to make things very complicated for you um so you're going to want to save one spec for doing that and then you can just dump the other spec whenever you get the opportunity uh at the end because the Void Waker is also a 4-tick weapon. Um, so that that's when you use your Acolyte is sub-25%. Um, the only other health threshold that I know of is around 76-75% is when you're going to start getting the 4 vents. Duke is going to start throwing out 4 vents. And then that's when you start uh, running back for the vents instead of just running in the front row. In terms of practice, uh, I would only recommend doing a little bit of the regular boss. I think I have like a hundred some kills. Basically, you just have to get used to the timing with the flinching on the boss. Other than that, nothing is really going to be the same. Uh, like the, the vents and stuff is all going to be completely like new for you in the Awakened version. So you might as well just jump right into the Awakened version. I forgot to mention in the gear section as well that the Slayer Helm is just that uh, if you do get hit by the vents, like if it shoots it on the second one in the middle and then you get like acid walk where you have to do the acid walk, you're going to get hit by the vents. And if you're wearing a Slayer Helm for the face mask, I believe, um, it's going to do a lot less damage to you than if you didn't have it. So that's why I use the Slayer Helm. Okay, hey, here's an example of a non-enrage poison walk. So I've just used Red Eye Jedi's tiles that I'll mark, or I'll try to link in my video. I'll also link his video, because he does a really good job of explaining this, and I thought that this boss was actually probably the easiest one for me out of all of them, because of his video. But I'll just briefly go over how I was thinking about this. So... Right here you have to time this as when he like throws out his poison, so time it, and then you click on this tile, and then you start doing your poison walk on 1, 2, 3, 4, and as you're doing this, you're just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, click, 1, 2, 3, 4, click, 1, 2, 3, 4, click, and then you're done, and that's how you do the non-poison walk, or non-enraged poison walk. And as you can see, it was at 29%. That's why I threw up the Void Waker. So I was just trying to get his health below. 
because this is exactly what you want to avoid is hitting it see if I would have hit it below 25% there and then got the poison walk that's really bad for you so I got lucky that I didn't do poison there and now you hit it below 25% so you start using your arc light and this is the enrage part so now on the next poison I'll show you I click the boss and then you click on one immediately you don't click on that tile you just click on one and then you start doing your walk I had to wait a tick because I went early you can do that you can wait a tick if you go early but if you go late then you're kind of screwing yourself and then after you're done your attack you just click on the wait tile and then this is what I mean by it can do the poison in the middle if you don't run back here fast enough so that's why you wear your slayer mask because if I got poisoned here then I would have to walk through the poison or the uh, vent and so that's why you'd have the slayer helmet on uh, I'll find an actual example of where I actually had to walk through the vent and show you what I mean okay I think this here is a good example of everything that I've been talking about so far uh, you can see it's at 31% of its health, so I'm going to try to knock it down below 25 before the next vents come out. So you'll see that I Void Waker spec it here on 28%. doesn't quite do it, so you'll actually see me throw out a Fang hit, but I didn't need to because I hit there. I just tank the shadows, that's what the brews are for. If you can dodge the shadows, you can probably just use anglers. So you can see I get into the sub-25 poison walk here. But I have to tank this cloud in the middle. So that's what the Slayer Helm is for. And then at the end, at the end of your poison walk in the enrage part, you just click on that white wait tile. Um, you're not really waiting, it's just because it's either going to do this vent attack or it's going to do the pillar. So if you start here, then you're less likely to reg the middle tile. So then you just get out and you go back. Right back into the poison walk again. I get smited here, unfortunately. And then, yeah, I don't know why, but sometimes it does do that. So if it does do that to you as well, or it does, does the eye when you're still running the poison walk, I just sit behind this pillar and I just tank the poison. Just double eat, triple eat, do whatever you gotta do. That's what the brews are for. So that's how I dealt with that. All right, in terms of your settings for the Duke, there's really not a whole lot. It's just going to be your tile markers. So just make sure that you have uh, ground markers turned on in your settings. Ground markers. Uh, this is what I use. Um, but you're just going to import your tile markers by clicking, by uh, copying the thing that I post in the description and then importing ground markers from your clipboard uh, and that's pretty much all that I used I don't think I used any kind of like NPC indicator or anything for this fight so it's pretty basic pretty standard I actually forgot to record something for the Duke settings um, there is actually some settings that you use so if you go to boosts information um, this is the only thing that I really changed the, it this display boost said both before and I just switched it to combat and that'll just make it so that when the black orbs hit you it doesn't like cover your screen telling you that it, like your rune crafting went down because you know you don't care about that so boost information combat display boost combat that's the only real setting for the Duke